guess what? I got an update on Good Vito's leg injury. Remember when he jumped off the stage last week for that guest posing and we all thought he tore his quad, broke his fucking kneecap, whatever? Well, he's okay. How about that? Now, do I believe this? Do I think this is exactly what happened? Do I think it's more serious? Just hold up. I'm going to share my opinion. Guys, guess what? You guys loved Natty so goddamn much, it sold out. <laughs> so make sure when it's back in stock, you are the first in line to pick it up. Because when it restocks, I'm sure it's going to sell again. But Nitro 3D is still available. And we have our Amazon Prime Day sale still going on. Up to 50% off. If you guys go to Amazon, check out Old School Labs. We have tons of your favorite products on sale still. Use code NickBS. So let's talk about this good veto injury. In case you guys missed it, let me catch you up to speed real quick. He did a guest posing at about, what, eight, nine weeks out from two pro shows, his pro debut. And good veto was in the moment, you know, feeling himself, feeling good. Decide to jump off the stage that's roughly probably four to five feet high to go into the audience and pose and have some fun. And uh, he had a rude awakening. And it looks like the kneecap or the quad, something happened to that left leg. I keep grabbing my right, but it was his left leg. And we all thought it was pretty severe. And I still do think there's a lot more going on there, but just hold up before I go there. So he jumped off the stage and he replayed the video. He talked about it. He expressed, you know, what was going on. He went and got an MRI. He went to the doctor, got it checked out. And I spoke to his trainer and he filled me in that it's just a really bad sprain and that he's okay. No quad tear, no meniscus tear, no patella tendon tear, just a really bad sprain. Now, what does this mean going forward? Well, at least he can still do his pro debut. He's doing the Europa show. and He's doing the Yamamoto show. This is awesome because we're going to see Regan Grimes there, and this is going to be a really good matchup head-to-head -head with these two amazing bodybuilders. Two very, very different physiques, which makes me very excited. But on the other hand, listen to my other theory. Are they hiding something? Now, hold up. Before you guys think or jump to conclusions, like I'm calling this guy a liar that I talked to, that's his coach, his trainer. I'm not. I'm just saying maybe they're trying to protect Good Vito's image, which I would do the same thing. If I tore my quad off the bone or my patella tendon, I wouldn't tell anybody before my pro debut. I would let no one know what's going on. So they're being very smart and strategic if the injury is worse. And I think they should do that. They shouldn't tell everyone that, oh, yeah, he fucking tore his patella tendon. Because now that's going to ingrain into the judges' minds, the fans' minds, that he has a torn quad. Everyone's going to say, oh, his quad's smaller. Oh, it's because he jumped off the stage. But now if we brush under the rug and it's just a sprain, no big deal. Everyone's going to forget about it because he didn't tear anything. He didn't need surgery. He didn't miss the shows. Very smart if that is what's going on by the trainers, by his coach, by his team. And I speak to the trainer and the coach pretty frequently. Very, very, very nice guys. I'm not talking about Aceto. I talk to Aceto too, but I'm talking about the guys that are in Brazil training with him. Very good people and much respect to them. Thank you for giving me this information. But I also like to give my honest opinion on things. And that's why I'm here to talk about bodybuilding because I enjoy it. And I do think they're doing damage control if this injury is worse than it really is. Now, maybe he did luck out. Maybe it is just a freaking sprain and he has like super strong tendons and ligaments and muscles and it maybe it was just, it felt really bad because he's 300 pounds and he landed on it. It just felt a lot worse than it really was, which I hope to God this kid doesn't need a surgery on his quad because his quads are fucking beautiful. They're amazing. He doesn't have to train quads from now to the show if he didn't want to. And they would still be the best quads on the stage and still some of the best quads in IFBB right now. But the coach told me, the trainer told me, they're going to get back at it right now. Today, actually, he said they're going to be doing a very light leg day. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea, whether it's a sprain or not, because if there's inflammation, which there is because he just injured it and it's a sprain, I would not want to aggravate anymore. And it's not like his legs are small. So 
if I was training him or coaching him, I would advise him to just to stay off of it, take anti-inflammatories, relax, ice it, do therapy, do low impact cardio. Don't put any, any pressure on him at all to train his legs. Leave it alone. It's perfectly fine. Give it at least two, three weeks of rest and then get back on the horse if you want and train it lightly, train it carefully. Don't push heavy weights. Just squeeze the shit out of it and he'll be fine. I don't think it's a good idea to go back into training because that joint, that tendon, that ligament, that knee is going to be very tender. It's going to be swollen and he could make it worse. He could tear the quad doing a light leg workout. Even if it's just like body weight squats, he could tear it right there because maybe it was sprained bad enough. It's inflamed enough that it's very weak now. I would just stand clear of the legs if I got away not tearing anything. And I just want to say, I really respect them for even answering me as quick as they did and being as honest as they possibly could. But like I said, I always like to give my take. I like to give you guys all different scenarios, the possibilities of this, possibilities of that, because that's what's fun. It's fun discussing the possibilities of maybe he didn't sprain it. Maybe they are trying to hide something. Maybe he didn't tear anything. Maybe he's perfectly fine. He's got super strong joints. Maybe he's Superman. I don't know. But if you watch that video, and I'm sure you did, you guys can see that there was some serious pain going on when he landed on that thing. And you could see his entire kneecap shift when he landed on it. And he did another bunny hop because it hurt that bad. So I just find it very, very hard to understand that he didn't tear something when that happened. But that doesn't mean he doesn't need hernia surgery because the hernia, yeah, the hernia needs to get fixed ASAP. Even at these shows, it's gonna be an eyesore no matter what they try to do. There's really nothing you can do actually with a hernia. It is what it is, it's an umbilical hernia. But once he gets that fixed, yeah, his physique's going to look 10 times better. And it's very hard to see it in the photos that he does for his check-ins. It's very hard to see it. Now, with the harsh lighting on the stage, you put a tan on, you're going to start to see stuff that you just typically don't see in your check-ins. And that's what happens. You see things that you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know I had that. Or, wow, holy shit, where did that come from? Now, maybe he's like airbrushing that little belly button a little bit on the photos. I don't know. But... We all saw him gas pose. We all saw that the hernia is a lot worse than we thought. I hope he addresses that as soon as possible because that's another thing that could hold him back if it ruptures, like I've talked about in the last video. You have to address these injuries, guys, before. Prevent. Prevent from causing more damage. You get them fixed, the recovery's a lot better, and you come back quicker. Instead of waiting for things to explode or get really bad, and then you're trying to piece things back together when they just blew up in front of you. You don't want to do that. Good luck to Good Vito. Thanks for watching.